Wilson lesson 5.3. All right, we are looking at open syllables and we are going to look at this week at words that end in Y. Now, the letter Y can sometimes be a vowel. We learned A E I O U and sometimes Y when we were growing up. Now, Y in an open syllable at the end of a multisyllabic word, which means two or more usually will end in the long E sound, like in happy. So when we go to scoop this word, it's going to be hap, P, closed, and open. And that Y is long, happy. So it is still an open syllable, but most of the time it makes the long E sound, not the long I sound, like we learned last week, like in try. The long Y, sorry, the Y makes the long I sound. But this week we learned when it's combined, it's going to say I. So when a multisyllabic word ends in Y, we will often also see a double consonant. We call it a bunny rabbit word, and this will make the vowel short. The example we saw was like bunny. That's why it's called a bunny rabbit word. So you can see here, bun knee. We split up the two ends, just like here, bun knee. We split up the two ends, rabbit. We learned that syllabication division rule before, but the difference is, is we're looking at this now with an open syllable. So this is short. The bun is short, like we learned before, for a closed syllable. And then the ny, the knee sound, is open. But there is a time when there's only one consonant in the middle. That makes the vowel long, like in the word baby. So here, because there's only one b right here in the middle, it's bay, which is an open syllable, and b, which is another open syllable. And they both make the long vowel sound. And this will follow the rules of the two open syllables. Okay, on page two, you're going to follow along with me. So first word, jolly, we have that bunny rabbit word. We're going to break up the two L's for jaw, sorry, jaw, lee. So here we have a closed syllable. And here we have an open syllable where the Y is long and the O is short. Cozy, co, z. They're both open, so they both make the long vowel sound. Next word, empty, empty, emp, t, closed, open, long, short. Skinny. Here's our bunny rabbit word. Break up the two ends. Skinny. So we have closed and open, long. And short. Duty. Do. T. Open. Open. Long and long. Holly. Here's our bunny rabbit word, so split them up. Think of splitting up their two ears. Holly. Hall is closed. Lee is open. Long and short. Okay, this word. Puny. Puny. So here's pew and here's knee. Two open syllables with long vowel sounds. Pansy. Pan C. Closed and open. Long and short. Okay, next one. Ivy. I all by itself. V. They're both open. They both say the long vowel sound. They say their names. Daddy. Here's a bunny rabbit word, so break up the double D. Dad is closed. D is open. Granny. Another one. Bunny rabbit word. Split up the ends. We have closed and we have open. Ruby. Ruby. They're both long. They're both open. Fifty. Fifth T, closed and open. We have a long vowel and a short vowel. Lady, lay D, 
open and open. Now, if we broke up lady, like lad, and then E, it would say laddie. We don't say laddie, do we? So that's one of those times you have to be really flexible and go, that doesn't make sense. It must be something else. Oh, it's lady. So you have to really listen to yourself when you say your words to know how to split them up sometimes. All right. Gravy. Gray V. They're both open. It's not gravy. Gravy. It's gravy. We know they're both open and long. Tiny. Tie knee. Now you could have said, those are both open, you could have said tin e, right? But that's not a word. And if it was, it might be, it would be with two ends. I think tinny is actually a real word. It would have two ends because the two ends right here make this vowel short. But with one end, it makes it long. All right, NV. NV. We have closed and open, long and short. Last one, Molly. I see a lot of names that have these double letters in them. Molly, that's our bunny rabbit. Closed and open syllables, long and short vowels. All right, on page three, make sure you read your words as you scoop them and then mark them and please read them to an adult. As soon as you have them perfect, you can read them to an adult. All right, page four, our quick drill. I want you to say the vowel sounds that you hear. Ah, sorry, write the vowel sounds that you hear. Ah, I, E, Ah, A. Uh. All right, now for consonants. These could be single consonants. They could be blends. They could be digraphs. Sometimes I even have triple blends. Listen. Listen carefully for blends that come at the ends of words as well. All right, here we go. S, y, r, tr, th, p, str, xt, ch, d, digraph, wh. B, sh, ulf, ulf. Okay, now for welds. Onk, ink, all, ang, iv, old, oast, ink, ong. Ind. Okay, for review concepts, these are words that were from last week and prior. All right, I noticed on your homework for K9, many of you wrote the letter K and the number 9. I do not want to see that today. I want to see the word K9. K9. Unit. Delete. Cry. Basin, pro, pupil, label, secret, relax, why, locate, pupil, zero, Tulip, flu, like I had the flu and was very sick. Bonus, polite. All right, on to page five. Okay, write down the sounds you hear. These could be vowels, these could be welds, they could be blends, could be consonants. Here we go. All. E, scr, th, ah. 
Okay, now for real words. These are going to follow the rules that we've learned this week. Dandy. The name Billy. Tidy. Puppy. Lobby. Okay, there are no nonsense words this week. So on to controlled sentences. All right, number one. I dislike this lumpy gravy. I dislike this lumpy gravy. I dislike this lumpy gravy. Number two. Tommy had plenty of cash for the big event. Tommy had plenty of cash for the big event. Tommy had plenty of cash for the big event. Number three. What is that nasty smell in the pantry? What is that nasty smell in the pantry? What is that nasty smell in the pantry? Okay, as always, page six and seven, mark your words. I want you looking for the words that have the Y sound that sounds like E. I did not star them. I expect that you can find them all very easily. Read them, read them to perfection, and then read them to an adult. And once they do, they must sign it. That's how you get credit for your homework. Homework's due Friday.